Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a little paint with me and I haven't done one of these in a while so I wanted to put this one out there. I actually filmed this quite some time ago and I've been holding on to it for a long time but it's actually my favorite paint with me I think I filmed so I really wanted to kind of put this out there. Um, and right now to be honest my headspace is kind of elsewhere with everything going on in my country and the world right now. Before I get into this video, I just wanted to say Black Lives Matter and over these last couple weeks, I've kind of taken a step back from posting to social media or anything like that and have just been trying to learn and listen and educate myself and take action. So um, I am going to uh, post some helpful links that I found in the description box and I'm also going to be donating 20% of the sponsorship money from this video and 10% of my Etsy sales for the month of June to the Bale Project and I'm also trying to figure out how I can carry this forward in the future with my business and support different causes and organizations so I'm actively trying to figure that out but I just felt it was important for you guys to know the actions that I'm taking since you guys are supporters of mine and my business so just know that even though I'm posting again and kind of getting back into the swing of things it doesn't mean I'm going to stop educating myself and taking action. I'm going to carry this out um, into my life and my business. So yeah, I just wanted to um, preface the video by talking about this since I felt it was important and uh, now we can get into the video. So um, as you might have seen, I got out all of my uh, painting supplies. So I got some watercolor paper out. Um, I'm using gouache paints for all the paintings I'm going to do today and I put them all on that palette. I did quite a few colors because I knew I wanted to do a bunch of different colored paintings. Um, and this first one is this dunes painting. I basically went into painting with a very specific color palette in mind and I knew I wanted to do these like clay colors and muted kind of like mossy greens. Basically all the colors that are my favorite like aesthetic looking colors I'm going to be trying to incorporate into this painting. Um, so I'm going to do this little fern and I did a little rainbow on top which I thought was uh, gonna look really cute and so I'm gonna just use those same colors from my uh, previous painting to paint with those and yeah I'm just making sure not to wipe away any of my past colors that I'm using because I know I'm going to use them again just to make everything um, on the paper look more cohesive and you guys might um, recognize these paintings if you haven't already you guys might recognize these paintings that I'm about to do um, from a sticker set that I created uh, some time ago. It's actually one of my favorite sticker sets that I've ever made um, and they all came from these uh, gouache paintings that I'm doing in this video. So um, yeah, if you guys recognize it, that's uh, probably where you've seen it before. And I'm just doing a bunch of swatches with all of the colors that I want to use in this painting and they're basically all of my favorite colors of all time. In the first two years of my painting, I've like used very few colors. I basically used like Payne's gray the most and some deeper blues and rarely ventured out to try out new colors. But now I've found kind of like my perfect palette that I like to use on a daily basis. And this is kind of a representation of those colors. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to make a little tarot card inspired uh, painting and I just did a border with washi tape which I find works amazing. Um, I have since kind of gotten more into using artist tape but honestly I feel like washi tape works just as well. Um, but I'm just going to be doing a sun tarot card and I'm using the mustard color that I put together um, on the side where my palette is 
and I wanted to do those swatches too because I wanted to have like a palette of colors that I could just dip into as I paint. So if you're wanting to figure out your palette beforehand and the colors that you want to use, that's like a really great way of setting them up beforehand so that you don't have to keep creating colors as you're trying to paint. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a little face on my painting and I honestly don't know what number uh, the sun tarot card is. I might have looked it up uh, beforehand and found it was this Roman numeral, but I am honestly not sure <laughs> if that's right. Do tarot cards even have specific numbers? I have no idea. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to be doing some lettering with my little paintbrush and my favorite paintbrush to do these details with is my Winsor Newton, um, tiny little paintbrush. I think it's like 0.1 or something. Um, and it's perfect for doing those like small lettering and details. And yeah, now for the satisfying part of taking the tape off and this little guy is done. All right, so since I kind of had a, a lot of white space in the bottom right corner and I'm trying to fill up all of the white space pretty much um, on my sheet of paper with some sort of something. So um, I just did another little swatch of an umber color and now I really want to go in and do a sunflower. And one of the first things that I painted, I remember like I think in college or something that I was really proud of was a sunflower and I don't really think I've painted one since. Um, I might have, I can't remember, but um, I really wanted to paint a sunflower, especially because it's one of my favorite flowers as well, but I really wanted to make it detailed this time and um, I'm kind of trying to swap out the colors of each petal to kind of make it uh, a little shadowed and um, just a little more unique and I'm also going in with some white paint to do the detailing. I feel like white paint is always the thing that makes like any painting stand out and adds some sort of dimension to it. So I always find that to be like the most satisfying part of doing paintings usually. Um, but yeah, I just really like how this sunflower turned out and even though this is super sped up, this a uh, particular sunflower painting took me quite a long time, so don't be deceived by um, my editing and speeding up of the process. I think this entire painting video was like about four hours long, so um, I definitely sat down and knew I just wanted to take my time and be super detailed with each painting. And even before I started doing these paintings, I knew beforehand that I was going to be turning them into a sticker set, so I really wanted to take my time with each one since I knew it was going to be something that I was going to be producing as uh, something for my shop. And while I'm on the subject, a lot of people have been asking for this uh, sticker set to come back and I don't have any stickers in my shop right now because I'm in the process of creating new sticker designs and having them produced by a external company since uh, sticker making is a very time costing uh, endeavor and I just couldn't really do it anymore. I wanted to focus more on making art and videos and um, doing things like that. So I am going to be opening up my shop uh, with uh, new sticker designs, but this design is one of my favorites. So of course I had to add it into the stickers I'll be bringing back, but there will be a few other designs um, that I've had in the past that I'll be bringing back as well as a bunch of new ones. So I'll update you guys um, definitely in my future videos and also on Instagram. Um, when my shop opens back up, but it's going to be very soon, hopefully. Um, I'm really trying to get all of these things done uh, this month so that I can open soon. But yeah, uh, for this painting, I'm doing a little crystal ball hand painting and I am very bad at drawing hands. Uh, I've only attempted it, you know, maybe several times in my life and every time has gone badly. This time isn't as bad as most times, but um, 
it's kind of like a 50 50 shot whether it's gonna turn out horrible or turn out looking all right so i just went in with my white pen to kind of make it stand out more and i think it ended up looking really magical and dreamy um so that's one of my favorite paintings of the mix that I'm doing here. Um, for this little painting over here, I'm just doing something very simple. I just feel like I needed uh, one little thing to place in this corner because it was bugging me. So yeah, I don't know what this painting is or what it's called, but I thought it turned out kind of cute. Um, and for these next couple paintings, I'm kind of doing the same. I'm just doing a little flower uh, set here just to fill in the white space and I'm going in with a dusty rose color. I originally wanted to fill in all of the white space because I wanted to sell these as prints and I never got around to it because this huge piece of paper did not fit in my scanner. But I finally found a way to make it into an art print, so by the time this video goes up, I will have it as a download and also um, as a print in my shop. Um, and I'm also going to have the original one in my shop. I think it's actually already in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing up this painting by filling in the rest of the white space with these little stars. Since I want to keep up with the kind of magical vibe and I'm using the same colors in my palette, which is really simple and easy um, since they're just already laid out for me there. And I'm also taking my Pentel color fine point pens um, and doing some little stars and this is the final painting. I am so happy with all the colors that I got out of this painting and all of the different designs that I chose. Um, it's just one of my favorite kind of paint sessions that I've had. So I hope it gave you some inspiration and I wanted to end this video by talking about Squarespace. Squarespace is a online platform that allows you to create your own website. From the beginning, I've always wanted to have my own website that I could call my own and host my shop on it. And even though I had no previous experience creating a website before, their templates and walkthroughs make it so simple to create a website in no time. So if you guys have been wanting to create your own website, you you can go to squarespace.com slash Jenny journals for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys find some inspiration from these little paintings. Definitely tag me in any of your recreations that you do um, on my Instagram and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!